Here we go. All right, so uh, Charles coming off a bit of a lucky win against Zaxel, but a win nonetheless, and now he's going to try for this rematch against Bobo, which is going to be tricky to say the least. Low, <laughs> look at that. Hey, man, I'm all about a high luck stat, okay? He's, he's dead. No, he's not. He's yeah, there, dog. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, you are a snake main, so you could give us some uh, high depth into. Do you actually know this matchup at all? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, it's hard to say, like, who wins exactly. It's actually fairly even, in my opinion. Um, they're really just chucking stuff at each other. That's my in-depth analysis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they really are, though. Like, both of them have pretty good CQC. Um, both of them have a lot of traps and setups. It's just uh, Rob's traps are more like, you know, they're always active. While, you know, C4 is remote and it kills. You know? So Rob is always kind of scary to be near at times. But the thing is that Rob is also kind of scared of Snake. So it's really just a matter of like who gets stage control, who gets the lead, and how much is the other just camping or boxing. Yeah, speaking of getting the lead, right now that's the first stock. Good for parry. Ooh, thought he was gonna, thought oh, he was gonna uh, cross him up. Yeah, Charles needs to take this stock right away because you know what happens if you let Snake get even one hit on you. Absolutely. Right, C4 there. Yeah. It is. Right <laughs> under his feet. I think he might have forgotten about it. Now, Charles himself does have a Snake, but definitely not as... At least he probably not does. Yeah, main. I mean, he's sometimes been... it's a... You can ask me sometimes it's a freaking call it coin toss. <laughs> But you know, in this case though, I think his, I've actually played him before. Um, he's actually very, he understands the snake matchup pretty well. I mean, if you look at the thing is, every, you got him. Yeah, I, I, I bet. But every snake plays differently. You know, every some, some people focus more on camping, some people are a little bit more big into the boxing. Some snakes are very into traps. Like, yeah. Like almost like a Sinji style of snake. Like I think I think Bobo falls in that category where he likes, like he has a, a every every snake of course uses the grenades a certain way and creates the traps, but I can tell he likes to hit people a little bit more. You know he's very I, good with the hands. I will say and like the with feet. with Bobo it feels like he focuses on like the ledge trapping and stuff, ledge trapping, edge guarding, kind of like not necessarily flow charty, but you know he has like a game plan of what to do once he hits his opponent. Absolutely. There's definitely a game plan in here. Alright, gets back on the stage. He has the gyro. Wow, he's able to eat that. You heard that? <laughs> like forward air sounds like it really hurts, but <laughs> this man's really hold on to Cypher through it. What oh, are you doing? I know he didn't want that. And actually, I, I was gonna say to myself shake. too, like that that C4 has been on the floor for a while. No one wants like a a timer on that thing. Okay, and now these percents are neck and neck. Oh, he stuck oh. him in the... Wow, that wow, was so nice. I didn't even nice. see it happen. You know, I heard it, and I was literally just like, yo, did he just... Wow, that was very ballsy, actually. <laughs> very good, though. He called out the fact that he wasn't going to throw out an aerial. Well, in general, that's not necessarily a safe thing to say against Rob, but if he's not doing, like, instant fair, a lot of his aerials require a delay, you know? Right, they like, neutral air out. landing into the ground... Back here, you usually want to do pretty low to the ground. I, mean, I think Bo was feeling pretty comfortable because at a high pressure, at a high pressure situation like last stock, high percent for both of them. The fact that he wanted to go for a C4 stick. Now the thing is, he probably also wanted to drop it onto the platform, which would have been a good thing. And it just so happens that Charles jumped in the way. Rob is a pretty big Man, character. Nah, when do, when do snakes ever accidentally have things work out? I've done it. <laughs> no, I've definitely done it before. No. Very rarely happens, but it does happen. Sometimes it's like I just want to protect myself, but it's like, oh, but if I'm going to put it on your chest, then, you, you know, you can hold my C4 for a little bit. Oh. All right, this next game also starting out super even between these two. And I like the fact that there's, you know, you'll have these interactions, and yep. then they will hold off. Also, that gyro just popped up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Said, hey, the, the, the you ever I seen uh, My Hero Academia? Yeah. You know uh, in the, whatever, the, the sports festival? And the, like, first challenge 
where you had to clear the minefield. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And he, yeah, like, yeah. sits on the shield in a blast. That's what that gyro was. It was a very, very <laughs> long tangent to get there, but the gyro was just carrying Deku up to the heavens. Well, in this Anime case... Anime references. Well, in this case right now, uh... Right now, this, uh... Gyro is doing pretty good in this matchup right now. Oh. Woo! Bobo being a little bit... Oh, uh, I'm, I'm he did not want I'm that. Not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't want that. <laughs> yeah, you can see that C4 on the left platform? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, as commentators, it is our duty to make a timely PSA. Yeah. Just letting everyone know. <gasps> oh, no, he's alive. He's alive. Oh, that back air covered so Oh, he much wanted the space. gyro. Oh, now it only just disappeared, so you can use it again. Right, that's just, uh, the C4 is on that left platform right now. I actually didn't even see him drop it. <laughs> yeah. See? PSAs. It's right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Always a scary situation. That, get that timing gyro. on that get up attack. Yeah, it was exactly what he needed. He probably wanted to kick the gyro. I think you could actually do that with get up attack. That might be Great wrong. Mash out. That mash out was so clean. Yeah, so if you do it again, honestly, his mashing is one of some of the best I've ever seen. I'm gonna be honest with you. He teched the wall and he came up with a back air. That was very nice, very clean. My mashing's pretty good. I play Yoshi. He's not gonna get out of attack with this one. Yeah, no, bro. He got, dude. The game that he he won against Charles, he mashed out at 180 and and lived like he got away with it completely. <laughs> That's that's kind of nutty. It was actually very nutty. What the? Can someone explain? The... Did you see him tank that mortar? <laughs> did, did he like gyro? I don't know. Maybe? I have I have no idea. I'm so, right, well, I've seen like some weird things though, happen yeah. today. He's got the C4. I know he's gonna use it at some point. If Charles allows him to. He wanted a little bit more. Oh he my god, so many explosions. Some, some real big damage on that. C4 hurts, is on man. the Pokeball. It's on the white of the Pokeball right now, the center. Little button. So I love how he's keeping center stage with that. Yeah, just limiting the, like, the possibility for him to use the ground. Ooh. Up air. Slips out of the up air. Wow, Ooh, the grenade. Is he sticking? Is he sticking? No. No, he's not. C4 missed him. I know Charles just wants to end this game. I know he wants to end this. I'd be frustrated too. Oh, Ooh. nice try. Nice try. Let's see One how up tilt will end this. Oh, Did he sticky him? There it is, yeah. yeah. So he stuck him, hit him with the back air. Waited for the air dodge. That was very, very good. Oh, is that what happened? He waited for the air dodge? Well, he, he hit him with the back air, and I think by the time his air dodge came through, he was able to recover and actually use the C4. So I think it was just good, like he was able to react to it after, so I think Charles was mashing air dodge. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go for the snake ditto for uh, game three. All right, let's now. Give it a shot, man, let's, let's do it. Can you give us some insight on the snake ditto? Yeah, I'll tell you exactly why I hate it, sure. Um, <laughs> honestly, the thing about this is really just a matter of like, who's able to keep their corner on the stage? And how oh well? God. No, it's true. Look at this. this. You see this? Who's keeping their corner? And and when somebody decides to invade the corner, do they get them off stage? And when they do get them off stage, do you? How well are you able to uh, shark them with uh, this is, Nikita? This is actually, hilarious. Not no. I'm enjoying this kind of way, but you're know, hilarious nonetheless. Yeah, no. It, this matchup is truly a meme. Truly. <laughs> now they now they got their corners again. See this. Is, <laughs> this is what this matchup is. This now, the, now, efficiently, if you're going to try to win this campy matchup right here, so you have to be able to cook your grenades better than the other person. Now, at this point, they're just chucking them because they need to. You need to win the chuck war. Very nice, but oh, you'd be able to block that. See, I'm telling you, it can really go any way when you're doing sneak videos. <laughs> I'm telling you, Charles has a very, very solid shot of winning this round. Uh, it was for the, it was for the down smash. You know what this okay. reminds me of? It reminds me of like two kids 
windmilling, like, they're swinging their arms trying to, like, hit each other <laughs> like that. They're just swinging. They're just swinging. They're just windmilling their arms right here with grenades. <laughs> okay, then now they got the corners. <laughs> Chuck stuff now. Now, the thing is, now, if you happen to get your C4 on the other snake's corner, then that's great. <laughs> Which in this case, uh, Bobo had a C4 on, on his corner, on uh, Charles' corner. Honestly, there is so much to Like, we're laughing at it, but there is so much to deconstruct in this match. No, there really is. There really, really is. And I promise you, neither of them are having as much fun as they look like they are. But, uh... <laughs> see, now they, they have... C4 on opposite C4, yeah, sides. C4 on opposite sides. But see, they own the C4 on their side. That's the good thing. Oh, they've just blew it up. Oh, yeah, you can see he put yeah, the see, C4. He, see, he's I, trying to get his C4 closer to him, you see? That's how the camping works. This is absolutely... See, I'm Charles talking about what game right this reminds me of, but there is, like, a, a board game. game. Oh, boy, what? he wasn't ready for that one. Oh. Yeah, Bobo's sitting on his uh, C4 on the platform. Charles got his on the bottom right. Uh, goes for Spike. Footage of D-Day, circa 1944. <laughs> there. Oh, wow. Alright, Bolo got his C4 down, Charles got his C4 down. A little bit closer to the center this time. That might be a little advantageous for him. If he can get in there, <laughs> if only he can get in there. Now, why has Bobo started electing to put his uh, C4 on the platform? Is that because then That's if he does get That's because it covers hit? below, too. Yeah, so if he does... Oh, right, that's it. All right, yeah, there it is. And Bobo takes it 3-0. Grand finals.